The design for the take-up spool on the Senior 20 is for a piece of plastic downspout pipe that was 68 millimeters in outside diameter and that would be a standard piece of pipe over in the UK. You cannot find a piece of 68 millimeter pipe here in the US. What I can find is a piece of two and a half inch Schedule 80 pipe. It has a wall thickness that's about a quarter of an inch thick. Outside diameter of this is about two and seven eighths. So I'm going to reduce this to 68 millimeters on the lathe. I sanded a couple of pieces of hardwood to approximate two and a quarter inch diameter, something that would just fit inside this Schedule 80 pipe. Keeping in mind that this inside diameter is not all that consistent, it is an extrusion. It goes on here, run the live center up, a little load on it, and that will hold that for machining. PVC, all this stuff wraps around the pipe as you're machining it. This is one continuous length of plastic thread. So this could latch onto your finger, cut it off. So after I do this, I get it down here on the end, cut that loose. up and get ready to make the next cut. You will end up with a pile of this stuff and that's from machining two and a half pieces of pipe. I still have another one to go. When we're done you can see I've reduced that pipe quite a bit. This is now 68 millimeter outside diameter which is the correct size for the original design of the Senior 20 and for the busker. Now we need to complete this take-up spool. When it's completed it will look pretty much like this. I drilled a 5 8 hole with a Farnister bit, squared that out, rounded this a little bit here. This screw is located about a half inch back from this edge. And then there's holes that go around one side, the other side just to screw in to keep this end cap on there. And this hole will be drilled and tapped through this piece. I'll run a set screw in there that will lock onto the quarter inch diameter shaft. And then finally we need a little tab that will latch on to the end of the music roll. We can make that out of a piece of aluminum. I found an old credit card. That's pretty tough stuff. I cut this piece to this shape then hold it up inside here till I see it's in the right position and mark it with a pencil. Poke a little hole in there with an ice pick. Run that screw in there to where it protrudes just a little bit. Take your plastic tab and locate that punched hole on that screw. And run your screw in. You want to be careful and not strip your thread out in that piece of credit card. In there, that's taking the curvature of the pipe and it's pulling that tab down. And I think that'll last the life of the organ. I took a piece of hardwood, drilled a quarter inch hole in there, with a good quality brad point bit. Sanded this to a diameter on the circle sanding jig on the disc sander to where it will just fit inside that piece of pipe. And my piece of wood was thick enough I was able to split that in two on the bandsaw. I ended up with two pieces. 
These are four and a quarter inch diameter, eighth inch plywood. Again, sanded accurately on the circle sanding jig on the disc sander and glued to that piece of hardwood. I want to drill and tap this for a set screw. Put a mark on the rim in line with that hole and then drew a line from that point to the center of the axle hole. Make sure your drill bit's going to go deep enough in the first place. Line that up with that. This is sitting in a V-block. Come over on this side and start drilling. actually using a bottoming tap because I don't have much depth on that hole. I've counter drilled this to about this point with a big enough diameter to clear the shank of this tap. And then I want to watch inside the hole. The tap comes through, then back it up. I don't remember if I mentioned, but I was tapping this to a 1024. 1024 is a fairly coarse thread, and it should hold in that piece of oak pretty well. And then the set screw, that's 3 eighths of an inch long. That puts a lot of threads in the wood. I just run that in until I see the set screw protrude and back it out. And that will tighten on that shaft very nicely. 